Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Cursive and welcome back to another video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for another episode of... I almost said, is this viable? But no, this is Road to Ranked, where we bring a different deck every single episode into the Ranked Ladder on Dueling Book and try to get into the top 10 on the ladder here. And today, we have Reptile Dysfunction. Big shout out to Team JDG. I will go ahead and leave a link to their Hope or Cope video down in the description. You should definitely check it out. It is the entire inspiration for this deck. Essentially, this plays the Cold-Blooded Tactician Viper skill that we got from the Duelist of Shadows box here, which allows you to spin one of your opponent monsters to attack or defense, depending on the number of reptiles you control. Your reptiles are Embodiment of Apophis and Swamp Mirror because they're the only good ones. Along with that, we play Triple Drill Lord to take advantage of the defense position monsters, while we also have Book of Moon and Sphere Creep to help take advantage of that. With all these uh, trap cards that can possibly get outed during the battle phase we have two copies of battle survivor and mixer roid to help us get to droid faster it's basically a fourth drill for it um with that i should actually probably go uh with um some roid fusions real quick here because i do have four is there any level four roid fusions no there's not okay we don't need any roid fusions we're good this is the deck that's it uh Let's get into some ranked matches. And we are here for our first match. And it's not against Ursus for once. We have Nightblader here, member of JDG. And let's go ahead and destroy him with Coldblooded Tactician. Let's show him the absolute power that is Reptiles. <laughs> Call me Terra today because I am coping. All right, here we go. Here we go. Big tactician moment. We are definitely feeling tactful today. That's a lot of background. Um, so, I mean, in this situation, you just go battle survivor, right? That's it. You told Nightblader he doesn't play anymore. And he's like, watch this. Literally, he's going to, like, body me now. Not that... Anyone? Oh, you... Dirty. I could have chained Book. It's probably not worth, though. I gotta save Book for the ones that actually combo. With the... Uh, with the skill. Okay. Well. Ooh, another one. Nice. Um, let's just go ahead and run out a, uh, a Drilly Boy here. Looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. We'll set embodiment. We'll go battle. Hit for 16. We're just gonna pass. We're just gonna pass. We're just gonna pass. We're just gonna... That's okay. It's okay. I, I hate that embodiment has to be summoned during the main phase. Like, what a stupid restriction to put on a bad card. But that's it. All right, we got a big drill right here. Nightblader has not seen a monster yet. I don't know what his back row is. He's playing Amazonas. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. It's all good. It's all good. This spy is still a weenie. I'm very okay with that. Please kill my battle survivor. All right, here we go. Big draw, big moment. This has to be killed by battle? Um, battle or card effect sent to the graveyard. Okay, so not as good as we were hoping, but it does something. It definitely does something. So we could spin this to defense, but it doesn't do anything. In fact, it's probably worse. Uh, we will fire our embodiment though in the main phase. Because it has to be done in the main phase. Uh, we'll leave another zone open. If he outs it with a book, we really don't care. Like, at all. Uh, let's just go combat. And let's go embodiment over spy. Maybe. Sure. 
Berserk, so he's 2k, so we just take 4 here, which is fine. Oh no! Uh, once for when your monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, destroy one spell trap. Yeah, I mean, there's I can't chain to it, so... Oh, uh, he hit the Swamp Mirror, which does suck a lot, but that's it, right? Okay, okay. I see you, Knight. I see you, Knight. I see you. Big plays, big plays. You dare bully the meme? The dream? This is why you guys signed me. Uh, we're going to go Queen here. Which is fine. We will book the queen. Uh, we're gonna draw a Wabaku. That's actually pretty decent. Funny enough. Um, let's go Mixer. Mixer effect. Yo, he mixing it up. Let's go. <laughs> Insane. All right, bring out big drill Roy number two. Set a back row. We still have not proctor our skill. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Skill is surely good. Are we not? Is this required? It says you can. He's gonna forget about it. Yeah, yeah, I would. All right, all right. He's just a bad judge, that's all. Just a bad judge. All right. Uh, just a swordswoman? It is bigger, technically. Watch this. Swing. Battle step. Big book. Let's go. Let's go, Drilly Boy. We did it. Let's go. Just don't draw a monster. Or draw a queen. Oh, he has willpower. Yeah, yes. Um, fair enough. Well, whatever, whatever. Sure. That's fine. We can probably lose one drill, right? Without any issue. What do we take here? He's 26, so we'll take a thousand from this. Oh shit, I forgot about the skill. Does this skill face stay face up? Well, fuck. For the content, what a what what a what a gentleman. What a true gentleman. What a gentleman. What a real gentleman here. Alright, alright. We're 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 out here. We're out here. Nightblader letting us do the takesies backsies. Truly, truly a gentleman. Not that I think it's going to matter, but appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. And we don't take battle damage here. So we let the Drilly Boy die. Now we're going to throw down a back row. We're going to pass. We're almost there. It is indeed a grind to out a queen. Is fine. We're gonna fire the Wabaku. 
Keep our drilly boy alive. Okay. We're gonna get the swamp mirror. So what, we can kill a queen? Does that do anything? Not really. But like, it kills queen, I guess. Damn. <laughs> Um, all right, well, we haven't activated the skill yet. Skill yet. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, ready? Big embodiment. Oh, not to the end phase. Hold up. In defense, right? This allows me to activate cold-blooded tactician. Spin his Amazonist queen to defense mode. Go, my drilly boy. Destroy his queen. We did it! Well, that was fun. Um, that's it. That's, that's my turn. Went really well. Did a lot. Felt great. This thing's going to gain 200 additional attack points, and he's going to be able to pop my back row. Um, which is, like, really bad. Surely he's going to go after Apophis, right? No. Okay. Well. You, you can't get over it now. So. That matters. Oh, yes. Of course. Thank you. Let's just scoop. Let's just scoop. We got Warrior Limit in our sideboard here, so we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Um, Macro turns off his skill. That's great. And Dust is uh, is absolutely nutty. So, with that in mind, um, we're going to side out this bad card. Uh, we don't need Wabaku, really. And we'll side out a Sphere as well for, like... All these better cards. But we can still proc the skill. We do have Swamp Mirror. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry. It's just a reptile dysfunction. It happens to all of us. It happens to all of us. All right, let's go a second. We honestly just want this to become like Battle Survivor as much as we possibly can. Come on. Uh, Swords Woman Battle Survivor is bigger. So that makes me feel decent. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Uh, Battle Survivor. I guess, like, the question is now, like, do we really try to run into like what's probably going to be a damage step card i mean like we could avoid it but i feel like we just don't and we just go for this if he damage steps me he damage steps me i mean like we're playing about <gasps> we did it let's take 100 damage let's go huge 100 damage i'm pretty okay with that overall I get to keep my Zoma. I still have a Sphere Kribo, right? Actually, hold up. Was that was sent in the right? It was sent there during the battle phase. <laughs> that works, right? <laughs> Cool, cool. Big battle survivor. Uh, he's going to get a village here. This makes Sage 16. We're just going to sphere this. Dude, battle survivor is just nutty. What a crazy card. Ooh, we're gonna see the dust. Gonna see the dust. And I just always have sphere, man. I'm really feeling 
really good about this deck. What's like the worst thing he goes into? A Swordswoman? That's really not that bad, I don't think. Because I can book the Swordswoman. If I want... Uh... No, this is... We got this, we got this. We're gonna, just going to go Drilly Boy. Um, two back row here. We'll go combat, and we'll just go battle survivor over sage. He can trigger his village. Always misses nice my versus battle survivor. Is this like a, a frequent occurrence or something for you? Because I can say I have never run into this. Um, and we're just going to go and pass here. We have like so much stuff to take advantage of. Why is battle? So this is my first time ever using Battle Survivor. Didn't think it would be in a Cold-Blooded Tactician deck, that's for sure. But it is my very first time doing it. And it feels insane. I mean, we're just gonna Sphere here because we get it back and Battle Survivor is just like crazy. You mean the skill. What do you mean? No more always because it helps you. Battle Survivor limit three equals dead card though. Does anyone know what's happening? I'm. Why am I so lost here? Am I stupid? Am I an idiot? <laughs> um. Think. I go that that that. No more always because it helps you. Uh, I don't know. I'm so confused. Uh, I think we're going to dust the back row. I don't think we're worried about the skill. At least not right now. And the back row is probably scarier from making me, from allowing me to go three. Alright, so let's just dust the back row here. What the fuck? Well, thank God we can deal with that. Hmm. <laughs> no more Mrs. Nice My pops your back row. Always Mrs. Nice My trigger your battle survivor. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Got you. Play of words with name of skill. Got you, got you, got you. I summon a Dragoon. That's kind of big but not the end of the world i can easily out the dragoon right um if i out the dragoon i mean i have to out the dragoon there's like no if ands or buts about this i think i'm just debating whether or not i go zoma here and i think i do let's just fire the zoma let's go ahead and draw Oh, another book. That makes me pretty happy, I would argue. Um, that makes me very happy, actually. So let's go to attack with the Zoma here. Thank I'm late. Like, thankfully, the waking is not the end of the world. Um, we can leave one book set, and we can just use the one that we just top decked. Uh, let's just go ahead and go battle phase. Let's go... Drilly Boy into... Uh, uh, let's start with the Zoma attack, actually. Let's go Zoma into Swordswoman. Yep. Grab another Swordswoman. It is bigger than my Battle Survivor. Then we're going to go Drilly Boy into Dragoon. We're going to go battle step. We're going to book the Dragoon. Right. Which will out the Dragoon. And then we will add the book back to hand as per battle survivor. And yeah. That feels pretty good to me. Battle survivor be doing his thing. What can I say? What can I say? By the way, if any of you guys who are currently watching are not already following the stream, feel free to do so. It is absolutely free and it is greatly appreciated. It helps support the dream. 
uh yeah let's go ahead and click done siding because that was a massacre whoa so i know nighttime waking now which something to keep in mind i'm basically never hitting a back row that's just sitting there i'm gonna save it for wakings and face up uh spell traps Woo! this is a good battle survivor hand i can honestly say that Ooh, does have the village that sucks a bit but that's all you can do we can get a drill which is decent the only thing is he can out back row the good thing about this is i can if i really wanted to i could go Battle Survivor, just set dust. I have a sphere as another backup. And then I don't set the swamp mirror. I think that's what we do. We're going to go Battle Survivor. We're going to see if he has an effect. Does have the floodgate, which sucks because basically not having access to Battle Survivor is what lost us last game, but. Now in this situation, we do just set the dust and the swamp mirror and just pass. Uh, we do have access to our skill because of swamp mirror. And um, yeah. We really do not need battle survivor here, like at all. So we do just let this go through. Right. Um, let's just go ahead and draw. Okay. Um, I actually, I should have sphered there. It's weird, but I should have because I could have got this thing in the defense, which would allow me to proc Drillroid instead of allowing him to use his skill to start outing my stuff. So that's definitely a misplay, but. That's it. Um, so we can go Swamp. Oh no, we can go Swamp. That's why we didn't do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and go Swamp Mirror. Divine Reptile. Uh, let's go... Cold-Blooded Tactician. To force its defense. Then we go Drillroid. We're going to go Battle Phase, and we're going to attack him with Drillroid. We are... No, before that happens, we are dusting this every day of the week. Yep. And then we're going to attempt to hit for 18. Can you call types that don't exist in speed dulce cybers? I mean, yeah, there's no reason you can't. You could call cybers. What's that new one called? Like illusion? Illusionist or something like that? I don't know if it's out yet, but like it is a it is a legal type. So yes, this could technically be a cybers monster. But reptile is obviously what we need for our skill. So that's it. Alright. What you got for me, Knight? Cold blooded tactician coming in clutch this time. Making me feel like I didn't know what I was doing. And I was like, wait, no, there's a reason I saved the sphere. All right, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. The only thing that makes us better is if we can draw into another copy of Battle <gasps> We won! Let's go! Reptile too good. Had a willpower. Could have got back Swordsman, but that does nothing right now. And... Crow is useless. I'm not sure why he's on Crow. I guess to stop Battle Survivor. Um, and then Spy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Once again, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, underscore, again. Let's go. Big moment. Let's see if we can take him down this time. Not like last time. Uh, we did win the RPS, which is huge. So we did get to go second here. Let's see if Reptile Dysfunction can do what it got to do. Uh, okay. Well. We do have a warrior limb in the side for this. Hopefully it comes up. 
Um, I gotta read this skill. So once per duel during your main phase, if you control Don's delivery, you can pitch one card special, two Dark Scorpions, different names, from your hand and deck, one each. So he could do that, like, right now, if he wanted to. Um, but when they, you can attack directly, if damage becomes 400, you cannot special summon or set any monster except for, okay, yeah. So he's gonna go and practice skill, gonna pitch the chick. Special cliff. And Gorg. And a back row. Wow. That's a lot. Um, I think deck thinning is worth here. So let's go in with Mixer. Ah. Uh, no, because he's going to pitch whatever we leave in our hand with Zalug unless we stop it. Which we can with Wabaku, actually. So we probably just deck thin here. Let's go, let's go Mixer. We can possibly get over the Gorg. He said, huh? I don't know what huh means, but why are we hawing about? Truly. <laughs> All right, let's go mixer effect here. We'll use mixer to special out a drilly boy. Uh, that will be met with a floodgate, but that is fine. Uh, we also have three back row of our own. And thanks to these three back row, and we are guaranteed next turn, unless he gets like another floodgate trap hole, which would suck, to get. I mean, yeah, that's fine. We're good. We're good. Yep, so we're just gonna go and fire the Wabaku here so we take no damage, which means all of our guys are safe. Um, we can draw here. Woo! Zoma's big! Damn, that's really good. Um, I mean, we can hit over both these guys without spinning them. Gorg's only when we need it in defense and he stayed there. Worst case scenario is like a Sphere Karibo, but the odds aren't likely. I mean, we can just clear like most of his board. Which feels pretty good to me. Set another one. Uh, we want to get rid of Cliff. Because it can pop back row. So we're just going to go Battle Phase here. We're going to go Drillroid over Gorg. He does have the Sphere. Uh, we'll flip Swamp Mirror. Divine Reptile. So Gorg lets you target one monster and put that on top of the deck, but I don't think the monster putting on top of the deck hurts me very much, honestly. Um, and I have a Book of Moon to stop it if I do want to. I think it's more worth to get rid of Cliff, because like I said, he outs my back row, which I need. So let's go ahead and run over Cliff here. And let's go and pass. I do have the ability to stop one of the attacks, whichever one I am more scared of, which is probably Gorg. Plus, I put it back in defense, which makes it easily, easily outable. Um, I gotta think here. So, he can only put a monster on top. I guess I want Drillroy to stay around though. I don't care about a milling two, like at all. I guess the question is maybe I leave it? Nah, there's no world where I leave this. I need this thing in defense to get over it cleanly. 
We're gonna book it, I think. We're gonna book the Gorg. I think Gorg's more of an issue. I'm not too worried about Anzalug. Mill two is like whatever, right? Mill two, go for it. I'll take my 400. Big damage. Now we mill two, sure. One, two. Uh, Sphere sucks a little bit. The other one I'm glad is gone because I don't have the room for it. And we're gonna draw an embodiment, which is like not great. It's almost arguable that we just don't put that on our in our back row because it'll clog. And I don't think he's killing my monsters. Um, I think we just hope that this is Wabaku. If it's zero gravity, it sucks. If it's book, it's probably Floodgate, though. I don't think he'd be on book. If it's zero grav... So I think if we put Drillroid to attack and leave Swamp, I put Swamp to defense, we play around both Zero Gravity and Wabaku. We lose to a book, but he'd have to be on book and not just triple Floodgate. So I think this plays around everything. So we're going to go Drillroid to attack. And I think we go Swamp Mirror to defense here to play around as much as we can. The other option is we try to clear both of his guys. That feels like it could be greedy. Uh, I think I need to play around Zero Gravity. Zero Gravity is just like actually decently popular right now. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to play around the grab. We are going to use up our back row slot here. We're going to go Drillroid into the set. This plays around Zero Grav. And Wabaku. Okay, nice. We'll pass our turn. With Gorg gone, we're not too scared about Zero Grav. Cliff is like actually whatever here. None of his guys can hit over Drillroid, which is very relevant. We'll take four. Yep. He's going to think on his target. He's going to go for a back row. He's going to hit this one. That is like so okay with me. Get rid of the Apophis. Please. And we'll take another four and he'll mill two. I presume. Yep. One. Two. Book sucks. Swamp Mirror is happy to be rid of. Give me a good one. I'm... Sure. Um... I think this time we don't play around the zero grab. It's not as necessary, and I'd rather clear all of his monsters if we can. So let's get as aggressive as we can here. Let's go battle phase. Let's go Drillroid over Zalug. Sure, that's fine. Yep. So his guys live. He has no back row anymore, though. Okay, he has a back row. So now we, always, we know he's on Wabaku, which makes him significantly more less likely to be on Zero Grav. Like Diet... Wait, what? I think Shield Crush would be good in this deck. Like Diet Coke offerings. I had Shield Crush in. Um, I did a lot of moving around with some of the cards. It probably is worth, at least in the sideboard, if nothing else. Mill two, really? Uh, okay, sure. I guess he wants to go for the deck out answer. Mill two. He gets like a lot of information on my deck, that's for sure. Um. <laughs> I mean, if he has Wabaku, we're in a bad position no matter what, right? Even if we do spin one of these to defense, um, we still lose to a Wabaku. So we're just going to throw down this back row. Just go battle phase and see if we can clear them both. If he has the Wabaku, like I said, I lose either way. I might as well go for damage. Uh, 
Uh, the drill can pop the defense monster. It can pop the defense monster, but um, I still lose to a attack direct mill two no matter what. So it doesn't matter if I spin it at this point. It just, it makes no difference. So I might as well attempt to get some damage in here. Um, shrink is fine. So I lost a shrink either way. So yeah, it makes no difference. Um, what we want here is like all of these cards because these cards are just so nutty in this matchup. Uh, I think Wabaku is actually very strong against here. We're basically always siding out Embodiment and Sphere is okay. I don't think you necessarily need it though. Is Sphere better or is Book better? We could also just drop a mixer. Embodiment is just so mid. Yeah, it, it's for the skill. I mean, what can you do? I feel like getting to drill. Is important. This probably just drop the mixer. We just go like this. More back row removal. Warrior limb. We get to go second again. Um, if we open the warrior limb and he goes for the combo, turn one. If he goes for the combo, turn one. Maybe. Maybe combo boy. Alright, alright. Um, drawing the book isn't bad. Um, I'm not worried about him protecting himself either here. Uh, we're feeling like pretty decent in this situation because we have a battle survivor. If he wants to floodgate it, he can. Okay. Plus we have two back row that we can start proccing in the battle phase here. If he wants to damage step me, it's um, not the end of the world. I think I actually set this because if he pitches the right card, that's a bit of an issue. Let's just go over this for two. No problem. So he's just gonna Wabaku here, that's fine. We feel like pretty good about that. And you set the warrior limb here because you play around what you know is existing right now, right? I swear to God. Okay, gonna hit the dust. Fair trade, fair trade. Thankfully, he didn't hit the book <laughs> or the warrior limb. Okay, we're gonna go full combo here. Gonna spin the Lug. So we're going to get over the battle survivor is his choice here. The issue is Cliff can hit directly and without my warrior limb and I kind of need that, right? I can guarantee deal with Cliff and then deal with both of his monsters. Yeah, we just take it. We take the 200. Battle Survivor dies. He probably mills the top one. Yep. Mill one. It's a Drilly Boy. That definitely sucks. Here we book this every day of the week. Then we draw. It's actually not, like, amazing right now, but it's decent. 
Um, I mean, we have no choice. We're going to go ahead and warrior limb. Kill both of his guys. And we get to go drill roid and kill the last one. Madness, he says. Madness. Okay. We're definitely feeling pretty good now. He's burned the skill. Doesn't have a monster. That's huge. Alright, big battle survivor. Plus a back row. It's going for some big damage here. Past turn. We have a swamp mirror for the crackback. Needs to have a pretty good hand. Um, Wabaku would give him a turn. At best. Right? Uh, we could play around zero grav. But we don't need to because we have Swamp Mirror. We just go battle. We go in with Drill Roid. Uh, I, I, am, I, am, I am playing Sphere, as you can see in my hand there. I am on two Sphere. Um, okay. That went pretty well. That actually went well. Mainly because of uh, Warrior Limb. Raigaki is insane. What can I say? But yeah, no, Shield Crush is probably worth. I tried to avoid it. I mean, like I said, probably in the sideboard. I at least want to main the embodiment. I mean, the whole point of the deck is to take advantage of the reptiles. And I did that once so far since I've been playing the deck on stream. But let's see here. I think we just set, 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 and pass. The other option was to normal summon Battle Survivor, which might have actually been correct. If he, because if he opens the loop, that's just wrong. Yeah, you're good. Go now with the Swamp Mirror. Playing a Heat Wave version with Shield Crush. How do you find Heat Wave? It's fine. I guess I just always book this. Let's go to Normal Summon Battle Survivor. See if it gets hit with a floodgate. Okay, let's go ahead and flip summon Drilly Boy. Throw down a back row. Go combat. Drillroid guarantees clear the clears this unless he like spheres or books. He is gonna sphere. So my next assumption is that this is gonna get Wabaku a trigger here, maybe. Okay. That's actually like super fine. Like super fine. Okay. Let's see what you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero underscore. All right, spin cliff to attack and. The actual scary part. <clears throat> what did you draw? What did you draw? Gonna go battle. So he's just gonna swing directly. Um, thinking. I'm gonna swing into Battle Survivor. So his back row is what? Like. Probably a shrink in hand or in his back row. Either way, it's fine. There's nothing I do here. Um. Uh, sorry. I'm in Battle Set. Sorry. Uh, it doesn't matter. Sure. That works. Whatever. Same, same result. Same result. Yeah. Or not 800. I lose 800. I take 4. And 
And same result because whether Dust hit it or Dust didn't hit it is exactly the same. Might have Sphere Kribo in hand. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, let's win Drill to attack. Let's set that and let's swing into Cliff. Okay, we actually get over it. That's pretty huge. Okay. We have a real shot here. We're equal on resources. Which makes me feel pretty good. Um, but he doesn't have anything that he can really use right now. He probably takes this because you don't waste a resource. Let's see. Let's see. Salug is fine. Um, I'm. I just take the mill two here. One, two. All right. Big draw. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Let's go ahead and throw it down. Let's go combat. Let's try to swing over this with Drillroid. Oh, we are just gonna get over it. That's kind of nutty. That's actually kind of nutty. Yeah, that's good. I don't have to take it, but I think I do. Sure, we'll take it. Mill 2, Battle Survivor, Sphere. Okay. Do we end phase Zoma? I think we hold it because he has double back row. How many monsters have I gone through here? A few. Let's just draw. We're going to see a dust. All right, let's just go battle phase. Let's go ahead and attack. He's going to Wabaku. We're going to chain our own Book of Moon. So the attack will continue. We will be able to clear it. He had to spend a Wabaku here as well. And we can just pass here. And we're, we're feeling very good now. He just has to pass. Ooh, and then end phase here. We go and flip our Zoma. Uh, does he want to do something? He's going to flood it his own, sure. So he will be able to live because of that. But I should just win here. Not this turn. But in general. He has one more turn. Back row doesn't do it. I have um, dust. Let's go ahead and roll the dust. This one. Gonna hit a floodgate. That could be relevant. Uh, we did not end phase Zoma. It's fine though. We don't really need to now. Even a shrink doesn't stop us. Wabaku is whatever. I probably missed, to be fair. But we're just going to set one. We're going to go battle. We're going to try to go for lethal here. I've seen nothing that stops two attacks from him except for Wabaku. Yep, there's Wabaku. All right. Go ahead. This is his last turn. His last chance to do something. He has no more copies of Wabaku. Set a monster pass. I mean, now we just end phase Zoma. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and clean it up with the Sphere Karibo. 
Go! Drillroid! Sphere! Attack his life points directly! Alright! We got our revenge. We beat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, underscore. This time. And, um, so far, this deck is undefeated. 100% so far. Good card, good card. Really glad we ran into, um... Specifically Dark Scorpions, because this deck is literally in here for Dark Scorpions. Ursus is back! Never go a stream without playing Ursus! Paper. Outplayed. Let's go. I think our RPS win-loss ratio has been pretty good today. I think it's been pretty good today. All right. Come on, Reptiles. Bring it home with a 3-0 win streak. Duh, duh, duh. We got Archfiends. Ooh, it's spicy. So yeah, we've played uh, mostly new decks, right? Obviously, uh, last time... I say mostly. Like, we played more than three decks. We played two new decks. One, like, as old as Speed Duels gets deck. So, whatever. All right, all right. All right, show me what you got, Ursus. If anything, this video has definitely shown off uh, just how crazy Battle Survivor can be in the right situation. Pandemonium and a set monster and a back row. Hell yeah. Well, I have no idea what Archfiends do. Like, no clue whatsoever. But um, I do know that Mixeroid... That Mixeroid turning into Drilly Boy can out that set monster. What does it also do? Archfiend monster destroyed and sent to the graveyard by any way. Um, its owner can have an Archfiend monster from their deck to their hand with a lower level than the destroyed card. Interesting. Uh, let's go and throw down two backer. We basically have three traps here. Let's go Drillroid and let's go ahead and out this set. Um, does this do anything? So we can search for a Archfiend with a lower level. So it has to be a lower level. But he's going to get Vile Spawn. And I think the skill lets you turn Vile Spawn into whatever. What does this do? Um, uh, when targeting Archfiend, you control destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and target... That Terra King Archfiend in your graveyard special summon it. Wow. That's a lot. Um, and now I gotta read this. Uh, once per turn during some phase, you must pay 800 life points. Uh, can't, doesn't need to do that. Uh, when resolving an opponent's card effect that targets this card, die 2 or 5 and negate it. Okay. Okay. That was like, he, he really had like the combo for like an opening play with Archfiend. Um, gotta read. Phoenix half phase, you must pay for. When resolving an opponent's card effect that targets this card, roll a six sided die, and if you roll a three, destroy your opponent's. Cannot attack any archie monster control except vile spawn. Sure. That's fine, yeah. That's good. I hate that they all have like a chance of negating a targeting effect. That means there's always a chance that it doesn't resolve, and I think that's worse than it being guaranteed to resolve. Okay, what does this do? During your stamina phase, whatever. Um, once per turn, during your stamina phase, target. Uh, during your st okay. Target one level four lower fiend monster on the field. Uh, target gains 1,000 attack. Uh, okay. Gotcha. And this only. So with this one, we're going to book it because it has no protection from book. 
So we're going to book this. Right? Then we will we don't have to burn our sphere here. We could save it technically. I think I do save it. Right? Because I can go embodiment, proc embodiment to spin that. And then try to hit over both. So I think we just take it. I don't know. I don't know if this deck has recovery plays. This is once per duel. No, once per turn. In its same column. Oh, this is column. So if I have all the columns eaten up, then he can't do that. Okay, so we sphere this. We sphere this. Okay. Okay. Draw. Swamp Mirror. Um, let's go ahead and go Embodiment. Then let's normal another Drilly Boy. Set a back row. Let's go Combat. We're going to go Drilly Boy into Set. We're going to go... That's fine, yep. This is only once, right? No. So I messed up the order there then. Ah. Uh, how frustrating. Uh, I mean, I have to clear it. There's really like no ifs, ands, or buts. He does get to proc his Death Rook because I mixed up the order there. So I have to kill that first so he can't search the Death Rook. Um... Okay. We're learning. We're learning. This is okay. We're learning how Archfiends works. Never thought I'd have to do this. This is. What is he? Imprisoned Queen. Wait, this triggers Engrave? Must be on the field. It must be on the field in this card. Okay, it must be in your graveyard. Damn. So he's huge. Okay, that's that's fine. You're all good. You're all good. Okay. So he's just going to clear both of my Drillroids here, right? So I'll take 1,400 from this. He's going to clear this, okay. And this is 21, I'm 16, so I take 500 from this. <coughs> we can draw here. I don't think Battle Survivor matters right now. We just have to hit over Terra King while we can. Really? Um, the only reason Battle Survivor matters is to eat up the zone. So he doesn't have a free zone. God, I hate that we're playing Columns right now. Because I have to kill Terra King here. I mean, I have to kill them both. Is there any... They're both just as annoying. I just have to kill Terra King first because he can grab a Death Rook. Yeah, so I have to out Terra King first. <sighs> so it's Fire Swamp Mirror. So 
Let's go ahead and move him over here when he gets set to eat up that zone. If I don't keep my life points safe, I lose. So I have to... And I need Swamp Mirror to be able to out these guys. So I have to do this. Okay. Big monsters are big. Need I say more? No. No, I need not. Okay. That's just, that's just going to be game. There's no point in me fighting anymore through that. Um... Grave seems to matter. So I like macro and I like dust. Once again, embodiment's gonna go. Um, book is slightly worse versus him. Um, uh, maybe we just go one macro. It's not crazy, but it does at least something. Let's try one. And like I said, book is less good against him. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. Okay. I never thought my hardest matchup would be Archfiends, but here we are, facing Archfiends. So ideally, he doesn't open uh, Terra King, Pandemonium, Death Rook, um, Terra King, or Terra King, Pandemonium, Death Rook. There's Pandemonium. Vile Spawn. Okay, so we can proc the skill right away, right? To grab the Imprisoned Queen. We are going to draw a monster. That's very nice. Very nice. There's a chance he has a book. Do we try to force it out, or do we just... Or do we not? We're going to normal drill roid. We're going to set... Wabaku. Dust. I guess we do try to get it out of him. We're gonna go battle. We're gonna attack. We're gonna go battle step. We're gonna book the imprisoned queen. He will also use zero gravity here. All right. Okay. So that played out about how I wanted it to. We got rid of the back row essentially. And we can guarantee protect our drill roid. Uh, so here we will Wabako to protect the drill roid. This is definitely worth. Can guarantee kill the general and he'll be just sitting on an imprisoned queen in the draw phase let's dust the pandemonium that'll kill the general then you'll have to pay a thousand
he does get to search another pandemonium but this is still like best case scenario for me he doesn't have two generals on board now um i guess the only other better option is if he summoned the other general i could have cleared two of them but that's it he does have another back row now which sucks Gonna set the mixer and pass. Hmm. We're only able to get a thousand off because of Imprisoned Queen. Just clears the mixer roid. Oh, the fact that he has a back row. There's probably nothing I can do. The only thing that makes it more likely, I don't have any bigger monsters. could like possibly get a dust <sighs> I think we have to play for it again which sucks but it's true same as before okay we're actually getting there um let me see what does it say uh I'm flipping macro um in battle set also to get that out of here yeah so this turns off all this okay I feel like I can speak a little bit more that we've dealt with the big queen because that was an issue. Uh, we got macro up that dealt with the skill card that dealt with the queen and we have a drill. Um, funny enough, if these were here and this was here, that'd be like ideal for us because he wouldn't be able to proc the bile spawn, but that's not how it's set up. Tergon Arsfeen, you lost in your gears for some of the target, but it cannot be tributed also during the end phase of this turn is destroyed. Yeah, which this is exactly what I was saying. And it, actually, it wouldn't matter now. Because of Archfiend's Roar, he could just put it wherever it was free. So the same thing happens here. Wait, it can't be tributed. Yes, we're good. Oh! <gasps> Can't be tributed anyway because of this. Yeah. Woo! Alright, alright, alright. We we're reading, we're reading. Okay. Ooh, reading got us out of that one. Let's go. Oh man. Okay, so that was that was a game. So Archfiend's Roar. So we know book, Archfiend's Roar, and the trap card. The more I'm playing now, the more I'm like book is important, more important than Wabaku. Because of Infernal Queen. Fog King also does something hilariously because it turns off tribute. Mm. 
well. We go swamp, swamp, Wabaku or macro? Wabaku. Macro? Wabaku. Macro. Hmm. So, like, I eat up all the zones, so we can't Vile Spawn, which is huge. So we can't Infernal Queen, which means macro is probably better to have it set up. I'm gonna say. God, I gotta know what I'm doing with zones. Ridiculous. Let me turn on the choose zones, actually. Like I said, Vile Spawn can't do its thing. Alright, well. What well. Well. Macro hurts them harder than Wabaku. Yes, for sure, for sure. Damn. Well oh my. Okay. Okay. He really popped off just then. Woo, okay. Ah, oh, the fact that he hit my macro. I think I, I didn't side in the second one, right? And Vile Spawn. He literally opened. Insane. You're good. Crazy. Um, If he doesn't have any back row, though, we're like possibly okay. Yeah, all right. So we do have to take the 26 here. How's it going, Nick Slash? Welcome to the stream, man. Nice to have you. Okay. Okay. Finally made it to the stream. It is absolutely wonderful to have you. Always appreciate you showing up. Um, so we can do this. For the Divine Reptile. At which point we can tactician this to defense. And then go drill. And then Wabaku over here to stop the vile. Battle phase. Let me go drill over this. He gets to trigger his pandemonium. <sighs> He's gonna grab. Sorry, what was that? That was a Terror King? Yeah, okay. Then we get to go in for 18. We're stopping Vile Spawn right now. I think that's what's most important. Now we can. I guess we're not, actually. Alright, we're gonna chain this. He does get to basically pop off here because Galaxy Cyclone is nutty against my deck, but that's it. Alright, um, don't know what's a good draw here. Not that. It's worth setting. I mean, actually, here. And that's it. We probably just lose here. Um, Galaxy Cyclone is just too much. Um, yeah, that's fine. If he doesn't have another monster... Yes, Terra King. Gets over the drill. Thank you very much, Xlash, for the sub. It is greatly appreciated. Always happy to have you. Six months. Truly insane. Truly insane. Sorry, gotta put this in the right zone. Okay. Okay. There's... Actually a chance. Never leaving without a sub. Always appreciate it, man. Love having you here. 
Speaking of sub, if anyone's here and they're not currently following, following is absolutely free. Oh, he attacked in the wrong order. Let's go. Never punished. Oh, but, but Ancient Gear Beast doesn't negate Zoma because it's a trap, right? just to make sure. Are we good? Oh, I think we're good. Um, it's trap effect that activates the graveyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are my emotes? You should have them. You should. Right? Unless like, someone just decided to destroy my emotes, then um, you should have them. Yeah, they're here, they're here. Use those emotes. Um, you see no emotes, but they're right here. Look, I can use them. I will use them for you. Bam, 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 bam. Big emotes. Um, I mean, I still lose here. But, we, you know what? We might as well go out fighting. Here we go. I can't even kill myself. I can't. Hey, there we go, Xlash. I guess we just set. It's okay, it's a, um... It's a Death Koala, don't attack. <laughs> Alright, Ursa's got it, Ursa's got it. Ursa's got it, GG. I think it's because 7 TV. Uh, Nani? Book, General, and Des Rook. Do we run it back? Let, let's run it back. Let's run it back. We will do a second match against Archfiends for the finals of the Road to Ranked video. Big finals, big finals. I don't know what 7 TV is though, I'm very confused. Easy, feels okay man, do you see stuff like this? Oh, no, I never ever set that up. You did send that to me. I'm like 99% sure you did. I never set it up. One day though, one day though. What does this do? Um, once return during your standby phase, you must pay 500 life points, exceptional. Uh, resolving an opponent's conflict, tell your scare will succeed to die. Um, during the standby phase, everyone Archfiend Monster gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn. Whoa! That's huge! It's actually huge! I didn't realize it did this! Um, okay. Now I definitely gotta think. And Xlash, I will get to adding that. I promise you. I promise you. Very soon. Very soon. If you rule a 2 or a 5. Um, you know what? We have not played the dice game yet. Shall we? I think we shall. Let's play the dice game. Um, I think it'll impact what... I do. Now, I guess if I'm playing the dice game though, I should just run out Battle Survivor and then do it in the battle phase. So let's go Battle Survivor. Um, let's turn on the choose zone. Let's go ahead and set. Set. Let's go battle phase. Let's attack. In the main, he says. He's gonna offering my battle survivor. Um, I'll, sure, I'll chain my book.
Okay, okay. I'm pretty okay with that. He doesn't get a draw because of his offerings. Uh, the one of his spent, we know what he's on. Um, he does get the proc that. And we will get to go like this. Which lets Battle Survivor trigger. And then we will be able to get this back to our hand. Then we'll be able to draw. He gets to do his cool thing here. We get to get to the main phase though, which is all we need. Because now we can go Swamp Mirror. For the Divine Reptile. Which allows us to go Cold-Blooded Tactician. Put that to defense. Um, oh, let's go! Reptiles! Kind of. Survivor doesn't add Wabaku? What do you mean? That was sent there during this battle phase. Well, you controlled this face-up card. Oh. Shh. Alright. Um, so this is just any card, right? Card from your graveyard to your hand that was sent there during this battle phase. So if I summon another battle survivor, I could grab or accept battle survivor. So I can't grab back another battle survivor. Darn. All right. Well, in that case, let's just go drill roid, I guess. I'm in the chat. Truly is in the chat, is popping up on stream. This is actually the Ixlash stream and not the cursive stream uh let's go drilly boy for effect because why not right he does get to trigger his pandemonium nothing we can do but that i forgot you're still streaming Then we get to go Survivor. I want to see your channel grow so hard. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I put in the work. It was destroyed by... Wait, it doesn't? Wait, what? It just says if it, if it was destroyed. Oh, except by battle. Oh. I didn't realize it said except my battle. Live and learn. Live and learn. Well, I mean, that's it. What do you add again? I think it was Desrook. Um, it's okay. It, 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 it didn't matter. But now I know. <laughs> well, there we go. We're, we're learning out here. We are definitely learning out here. Um, Fog King is still worth, I think. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's go King over this. All right. All right. We're officially at the two hour mark for the stream. Uh, over the two hour mark, I guess I should say. And because it, I figure that you are unaware, Xlash, because, uh, well, you haven't been informed. Uh, the plan is to try to stream for four to five hours. I've never done a stream this long before, but that's the plan. So if you have any big ideas for after this last uh, Road to Rank duel, let me know. Which, by the way, this Road to Rank duel decides if we go neutral or positive overall with our uh, Viper deck. So this is, this is pretty important, just saying. I hate this card so much. Wow, is this real? Is it real? Who knows? Yeah, well, 
Nothing I can do about that. I guess I could have booked it, but like, eh. I can also book whatever comes out. I think we book, right? Because I can't book all of his monsters, like Terror King, for example, but I can book this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's book it. At least Fear Kribo is safe from those dreaded evil cards. Alright. Flip up drill. Normal battle survivor. Drill. He actually doesn't have the field spell, by the way. This has never happened before. This is like a whole new domain. Ursus without field spell? Alright, he's gonna go for the book play. Nothing I can do with that. Because of Bookie, it doesn't have to pay, which does suck. Oh, he drew the general. Darn. What's your skill? My skill is Cold Blooded Tactician. Um, if I control a reptile monster, I can change the battle position of monsters my opponent controls. Uh, this is a deck that Terra Master has dubbed uh, Reptile Dysfunction. And I think it's a really good name. So, we're playing it. Does have the Infernal Queen. So we will go ahead and Sphere Karibo this. Which means we guaranteed hit over this. We do get to add back the Sphere Karibo because of Battle Survivor. Shout out to Battle Survivor. Give me a good card. Oh, we got the book. That's huge. Um, okay. Let's flip summon drill. Let's go. Battle phase. So, we have to trigger the Infernal Queen here. We have to trigger the, the Pandemonium, I mean, here. Um, I gotta read Deathrook. Hold up. Does Deathrook only happen when... I think Deathrook only happens... When it's Terror King? Uh, when a Terror King actually inside the field is destroyed and bash someone. Yes, okay. So it only works in their Terror King. So I don't have to worry about this just proccing right now. Now that we're here though, let's go ahead and attempt to book the Infernal Queen. Okay, we will get booked. So then we can go Drill, or I guess we go Battle Survivor first over Infernal Queen. Then we go Drill over Imprisoned Queen. He does get to trigger his Pandemonium. Now that we know that it does work by battle. Um, and then we get to add back the Book of Moon. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling this. I'm definitely feeling this. Uh, this is sick. This is sick. All right, all right. Infernal General, or Archfiend General. That's really good. I mean, we just set this, and we do the exact same play right where we go battle phase um the order doesn't matter we attack with drill roid in the battle step we're gonna go ahead and book them uh does this it does odd it does mandatory do it so we're just misplaying again that's okay. I, I'm just being nice. Copium. Uh, let's hit him for 16. 
He looked like he was having a really hard time against Battle Survivor. I wanted to throw him a bone. You, you know, just feeling generous like that. And we're still in decent shape. If he has Terror King, that's like the only possible issue. Right? Um, do I hold the book in case he Terror Kings to try to hit over hit hit over it? I guess. All right, big plays here. Big plays. Right, then we're going to go Fog King over this. Okay. Oh, this is just huge. Sometimes you learn these things. All right, so we'll take two. And we will just pass. Did not realize this thing was huge. Was trying to play around the Terra King. Um, in draw phase, think. Uh, yeah, no, we don't proc it here. We're not, we don't care about the 500 burn right here, I don't think. We just like the fact that Fog King is turning him off. That's fine. I can get over Death Rook. If I let this attack go through. So I think we do. We hold the sphere. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Then we dust this. We get to draw here. Then we get to set up our back row. We get to run over the Death's Rook. If Dueling Book allows it, of course. Okay. We're making plays! <laughs> okay, finally. Throw this down. Just go battle phase. We're 16. This doesn't trigger by battle. Let's hit into it. Well, we will take 200. Go ahead and pass. We're, we are getting there. Is it a grind? Yes. But are we getting there? Also, yes. We could technically deck him out. I don't. When did he do so much deck thinning? Well, sure. Let's just start burning him. Take your 500 damage.
We'll make it so you don't want to summon any more monsters. Okay. <laughs> this is what we're doing. Let's go! Mmm, offerings. Oh, well, that was Road to Rank, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for those of you who were able to chill for the entirety of the stream. Or not for the stream, of the Road to Rank video. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, I'll actually give you guys a quick update on where I am. Alright, he's gone. Um, on the ladder before we clue things up. So, speed duels current. We are currently sitting... We were at 90. We are now at 77. So our rating is currently 210. And to get into the top 10, we need a rating of over 695, um, at least right now. I'm sure that's going to go up. But we are getting there. We did actually go three wins, one loss with this deck. It did way better than Blue Eyes. It did also better than Red Eyes and has got us the most points thus far. So shout out to Battle, Survivor, I mean... uh reptiles copium anyway that's a wrap guys thanks for uh thanks for watching go ahead and hit that like button down below and also subscribe if you enjoy my content peace